Cramorant is back and he is gulping up the competition. On a serious note, with his signature ability Gulp Missile, pair that with Endurance Surf and it will have your opponent fist fighting the air. Things get interesting in today's battle, so stick around to the end. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are y'all doing today? Listen, man, today we have a battle against Miguel and an amazing OU mixed Wi-Fi battle with our Gulp Missile Cramorant team. Be sure to head into the description below and join the Discord for a chance to take me on in the battle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a goal of 50 likes on today's video, so help us out by leaving a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go jump into the team preview against Miguel. All right, so as you guys can see on your screen today, we're going to be taking on Miguel, who has a pretty nice looking team, right? A lot of threats from OU ranging down to PU. Uh, he does have a Wiz Cash, which is pretty good to know that he also has a Milotic. Uh, a lot of water weakness, man. A lot of water weakness. And you know what is great for water weakness? A contrary Leaf Storm Lorantis. That's what I'm going to say. So the good thing is here is we have Terra Water on Lorantis. So uh, that means a Milotic's not going to do anything. That means the Pelipper's not going to do anything. And it also means that the Wiz Cash isn't going to do anything. So if we can kind of get on board with that that should be a good time for us so uh again today miguel is a pretty cool team of milotic whiskash shiftery Selements, the um Pelipper and the Breloom. Today we're going to be bringing our Contrary Leaf Storm uh, Lorantis team. We have a Shell Smash from a Cargo. We have Gold Missile shenanigans with the Cramorant and then some basic stuff in OU with Lefable, um, Corviknight, and then we have Scale Shot, Sword Dance, Arc, uh, Arcanine. What am I talking about? Uh, Garchomp. So I'm going to lead off with Cramorant here just because Cramorant can get some Gold Missile actions off and then we can hopefully get some, get some uh, shenanigans off with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Wi Fi battle against Miguel. Hey y'all, my name is Bidoof and I want y'all to subscribe. Alright, so me and Miguel here, we got a little match off here, right? We have a flying water type matchup here. And honestly, I think mine is more superior, to be honest here. So the thing is here is I could get a huge surf off, right? I could get a huge surf or surf off, get the gold missile, and then straight up hurricane right after that. So you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna surf. We do have speed, which is super nice. So that means we're gonna be oh my gosh! That was, okay, I was gonna say that was a lot of damage. So he's actually gonna get a Tailwind off. That is actually huge for him. Now, the only thing is we're not gonna be able to outspeed this turn. However, I'm cool with getting a Hurricane off. I'm cool with getting a Hurricane off. Uh, if he does, oh, wait a minute. I just realized if he goes into Shiftry, I'm so screwed. No, he went for Hurricane himself. Okay, cool. So uh, he is gonna do a lot of damage to us. We do get the Gulp Miss off. That, does that take out? Okay, so it does not take out the Pelipper, but the good thing is here is we do get our own Hurricane off, which is super nice. The only unfortunate part here is the Shiftry is going to be a little bit of a nuisance to deal with. However, not scared of it. I am not scared of it one bit. So now he's going to go into Gremlin, which is going to be that Shiftry. Uh, okay, so I cannot hit this thing with a Hurricane because Hurricane does a lot of damage to us. However... I can at least go into Atachi here, which Atachi uh, can hit this thing with a Brave Bird. And the best part is we are, in fact, um, we have the, uh, what's that called? The Rocky Helmet on him, so he's not going to be able to hurt us. Now, we unfortunately don't have the Rocky Helmet, and that did a lot of damage, actually. That did a lot of damage. Oh, my freaking goodness. Holy moly. Okay, well... I'm going to roost here on the off chance I live. On the off chance that I live, a a knockoff or whatever move this thing wants to go for, I'm going to go for a roost. He's going to withdraw Gremlin, so that's actually not bad for us. And it looks like they're going to go into the Dorian, which Dorian is going to be the Milotic. Okay, so not horrible for us. Not horrible for us at all. Uh, and now I think the play here is to actually go into uh, Lorantis. So the good thing is that the, the tail one's going to pewter off. Uh, however, it is going to be a Marvel skill set. So that actually kind of sucks. Uh, so you know what? Let's go straight into Lorantis now. Uh, I don't know how much a Hydro Pump is going to do, especially in the rain. Uh, however, however, I can be very hopeful in us doing a little bit of damage. Uh, so they're actually going to go for the Skull. Did they get the burn? That's going to put a foil in my plan. Ah. Uh. Okay, so now we're a special attacking Lorantis, which is uh, not what I want. Uh, however, 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 uh, I could go for a Leaf Storm here. The only thing is, is 
what is the what is the the shifter we have for us i'm not too sure but i'm gonna go for a leaf storm just in case uh he's gonna go for the ice beam does that take us out that doesn't take us out and we get the leaf storm off does this take out no it doesn't Ugh. why is this thing so bulky okay hmm so gosh i don't know if i want to save this thing man I don't know if I want to save this thing necessarily because Lorantis is not putting in the best matchup. However, I do have a Gulp Missile. I do have a Gulp Missile. What's it called in the back? How many turns of rain are there still? Because I think a hurricane could take that thing out. Uh, there's two turns of rain still. So you know what? On the off chance he goes for... Do I Terra here though? If I, The question is if I Terra here, do I live in Ice Beam? I don't think I do. Uh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be beneficial for us to Terra, so I'm just gonna go for a Leaf Storm here. Uh, they are gonna outspeed with the Ice Beam here, and that unfortunately takes out Lorantis. So Lorantis, oh man, that burn, bro! And insult to injury, he gets a crit, of course. So that's the good thing is here is at least we didn't go for the um, at least we didn't go for the what's it called. But the good thing is here is we can at least go into the. Um, at least we can now go into mine, which is going to be our nice and powerful Cramorant. So that's good, at least. And the best part about it is we can actually get off. Uh, I, I kind of want to go for a hurricane, to be honest. The only thing is, if he goes for the if he or if we go for the hurricane here, he could go into Shiftry. Uh, let me see what Shiftry's base speed is first. Just because the Shiftry outspeed us, I don't. I'm not sure. Shiftry is a base 80 speed. So we, the good thing is we do out speed. Uh, so you know what? I'm actually going to go for the hurricane here. Hurricane should be able to take out this thing. Oh my gosh, it didn't. Okay, we got the confusion. Please, Milotic, please hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Please. Please. Let's go. And we get the burn to take it out. So that's actually going to be absolutely amazing. So uh, Milotic down. Huge threat down. Uh, now, <laughs> just a couple of more things as a threat. Number one, there's a Salamence on his side of the field. However, that Milotic absolutely went crazy, bro. That thing was bulky. Holy moly. All right, so now he's going to go into Raiden, which Raiden looks like they are going to be the Breloom here. Uh, so that's actually, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, hmm. So I do still have Corviknight, actually. That's the good thing, is I still do have Corviknight. And Corviknight looks like it would wall the Salamence, actually. So you know what? Do I let Corviknight go down here? On the off chance I outspeed, I'm going to go for the Hurricane. Oh, we actually outspeed. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, are you absolutely kidding me, bro? We could have used that. He wasn't even focus sashed. Oh my gosh, man. All right. Well, let's go for a hurricane here. Let's go for a hurricane. He's probably going to go for a rock tube, I imagine, to take us out. Bulk up. Excuse me, sir? Well, the good thing is here is... Again, Corviknight takes this thing on really well. I'm going to hope to wake up here and go for the Hurricane. Unfortunately, we don't wait. Oh, man. Us missing that Hurricane was huge. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is he probably going to have Mock Punch? Is he going to have Mock Punch? Are you going to have Mock Punch? He's probably going to have Mock Punch. He probably has Mock Punch. No. Let's go. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but Cramorant kind of going crazy, bro. Cramorant kind of going crazy. So... Alright, so now he's going to go into Deathwing, which is going to be the Salamence. Now, it looks like Salamence is going to be an Intimidate set and not a Moxie one. So that's actually really good for us. So... Um, I'm going to Roost here. I'm going to Roost. We do also be the Salamence, which is super nice. Uh, so now the thing is, if I can get a Surf off... We should be okay. So he's going to go for the dual wing beat. Hmm. Okay, well, we do live on 13. So you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to surf. Now that I outsped, I'm going to surf. And the good thing is, is now that I'm going to surf, I'm going to get the Pikachu, right? I'm going to get the Pikachu.
Oh, buddy. Buddy, you just messed up. Buddy, you just messed up. I'm gonna go for the Endure. I'm gonna go for the Endure. Watch, he just messed up. No, dude. No, okay. Well, the good thing is here, at least we have the, what's it called, in the back. The, um, the Corviknight. However, I'm pretty sure we don't have an item anymore. So, um, I'm gonna go for, I guess, a hurricane now. I guess, like, there's not really, what? Okay, so, he is, yes, in fact, no, there's no way Cramoran is out here missing these. All right, let's go for the Endure, right? Let's go for the Endure. Oh, man, dude. No, I did not need to miss that. Okay, so we get the Endure off, which is perfect, because now we should be able to outspeed. <gasps> what is going on? Hit me. Hit me. Well, I'm going to go for a roost just in case he does. Just in case he does. Oh my gosh, man. What is he doing with this Dragonite? What is going on, bro? I don't understand. I don't. Uh, the best part about this is, though, is I do have an unaware Clefable in the back. So, <laughs> I'm not really understanding, but I'm going to go for the Endure. I'm going to go for the Endure just to take a hit. If he does go for the Dragonets, it's going to kind of suck. I have no idea what's going on right now. I have no idea. But right now, I'm just going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Surf. He finally went for the Dual Wing Beat. That's amazing. So at least we're going to get the Paralysis off. We're going to hit this thing with a Gold Missile. It's going to be paralyzed now. And now... I just got to straight up go into Clefable. <laughs> I don't... I don't understand what the point of setting up the plus six was. Um, but... I... I applaud you. <laughs> now, what's gonna really suck here is if this thing can take me out. But, however, I'm gonna go for a Moonblast here. Now, I'm not gonna outspeed. That thing's got me on speed. Even though he's paralyzed, he's plus six still. However, again, I have Clefable here, and if he switches out, that's going to be the most crazy turn of events. So he does go for the dual wing beat. Dual wing beat got a crit on the first one, but did not get a crit on the second one. Whoo! Okay, I was going to say. So the good thing is we're going to Moonblast here, and we easily take out Deathwing, the Salamence. That actually got scary, but you know what? We return crits for crits. You're going to crit us, we're going to crit you. It just works that way in the world. I'm not going to lie. After that first crit, that got really scary. That got really scary. All right, so he's going to send in Gremlin, which is going to be the Shiftry. Now, the thing is here is I could go for Terra Fairy Moonblast, and that wouldn't be bad. However, Corviknight kind of walls this thing, because what Pokemon does he still have? He still has the, the Whizcash and the Shiftry, so not too bad. So you know what? I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Stab Moonblast. A Stab Moonblast should be good. He's going to go for the Leaf Blade. Unfortunately, Leaf Blade does take us out. Uh, however, 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 I do actually, in fact, I have a little trick up my sleeve. And that's going to be my boy, Meg Cargo. And Meg Cargo has some words for his team. Okay, Meg Cargo has some words for his team. So now, I'm going to Shell Smash. I'm going to Shell Smash here. And I think Meg Cargo is going to close out the game. Now, let's say he's like, oh, you know, my my fish, my Whizcash could easily. <laughs> oh, buddy, he knocked off my white herb. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, this thing is actually kind of getting a little scary. Shiftry is getting very terrifying. Uh, however, however, I do actually, in fact, should be able to outspeed. Should. Because he doesn't have a Tailwind up. So I should. And he's Life Orb. So there's no planet that this thing should outspeed me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Flamethrower. It has Sucker Punch. Crap. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So um, a question is here is do I go 
I gotta go into Sharkeisha. I have to go into Sharkeisha. And the reason why I have to go into Sharkeisha is because A, the the my I know my Corvinet can kind of wall the Whisk Cash. It's probably gonna be a Dragon Dance set. However, uh, I know Garchomp outspeeds here, and I'm gonna go for the scale shot because I don't want to get knockoff. Yep, perfect. That should take out the shift tree. I really thought Meg Cargo was gonna clean it up. I really, really did. But either way, either way, we went toe-to-toe -to Cramorant -toe with Salamence. Okay, I don't know on any planet of any any Cramorant that's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a plus six Salamence, all right? You tell me. That's That right there, I think, deserves a thumbnail spot for Cramorant. But uh, either way here, let's get a sword. You know what? I'm going to Terrasize, and I'm going to go for a... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go for Swords Dance and Terrasize. Yeah, Swords Dance, Terrasize. Let's see what we can get off, baby. Come on. Let's see. Come on. Listen, Garchomp isn't scared of a fish with whiskers, bro. You know, we go catfishing on the weekends every weekend. We're not scared of this, this, this mustachio fish, all right? This guy lives at the bottom of a river in the algae. So we're going to get the sword dance off. Okay, wait a minute. Before I get, before I get too comfortable. Okay, there it is. There it is. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we should be able to outspeed this thing. Now, the only thing is, is if we miss a scale shot here, I'm going to crawl in a hole and just hate my life. I, I promise you, I will. But all we need to do is just land a scale shot. Crap, he just trash lies. What did you just trash lies into? If it's Terra Fairy, that'd be insane. Water. Okay. I think we can take anything. I think we can take anything this thing wants to deliver. We are at plus one speed. We are at plus one speed. We do have speed. Perfect. Come on. Land this. There we go. Ooh, that got really scary, bro. That got really scary. Oh, my gosh. Why does this whole team have Dragon Dance and Setup and all? I, I don't know. But either way, man, that got really scary. But that's going to be GG's. That was a super fun game. Uh, definitely, definitely, Miguel had some very good Pokemon. I just... I don't know, man. They, they got really scary. The shifter got scary. The Salamence definitely got scary, but Cramorant don't care. Cramorant stands on all 10 toes or three web feet or whatever it is, and he stands tall and says, Salamence, you ain't doing nothing. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we used in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles, and let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build the team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles, so please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.